a lot of y'all got some shit y'all got to sort out your own lives before you sit down here talking about the modern women or the modern men or all this other shit. No, nigga, clean your room. And the problem is that I'm a man. I'm a leader. I'm the toxic asshole guy, the tool, right? Because when we go out, right, you expect me to take care of you, right? When we go out, I pay for it. You good. We go to the store. Hey, hey, get some shoes. You good. I got you. But when I tell you to do something, do it. I understand what he's saying. Well, you know, one thing I've noticed, like, is a lot of people all of a sudden become dating coaches. And these motherfuckers come out the woodwork. And some of them got no game. I know you ain't. They're buying into the whole fake funk. You're Even this guy talking about, like, I'm an alpha dog. I'm an alpha male. It's like this nigga lives in his mom's basement. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I know y'all been seeing what's going on out here in these YouTube streets, the rise and fall of a lot of content creators and dating coaches out here, and the newborns, the rebirths, and regurgitation of a lot of things that people have said and done. The tricky thing about this come up that we don't even realize is that we the ones that make these people's transition happen. And then the minute the minute they don't tell us what we want to hear, their career and their financial status can end just like that. So it's a tricky game out here. You got to realize that these people tell you things that's necessary that's going to benefit them in their pockets. So these things may not necessarily be the right information that's going to get you on the right path in life. The title right here says alpha male dating coach lives in his mother's basement. Go ahead and just play a little small clip of what they're talking about in here and then we're going to talk about it. Why is it that even beautiful women, bad bitches are single today? It's simple. Feminism. Feminism taught you one that you a queen. You God's gift to this earth. You the prize. No the f you ain't. No you ain't. You ain't a queen. You ain't never gonna be my queen because you ain't my mother. You don't love me unconditionally. You love me under conditions. Your mom is your queen? No, she's not. <laughs> is your dad your king? So right here, I see a man that is being taken care of by, the, by his mother. And in order for him to consider her as a queen, she has to play a certain role in his life that says that the woman has to play a feminine and masculine role because not only does she have to not only does she have to take care of the home, be nurturing and coddling, she has to take care of you financially and be the provider over you. So what role does that leave a man that is teaching other men how to find a woman that is not playing the masculine role? Because you have to realize that she is the head of the household in this sense because he is living in her basement and he is under her rule. And so that conflicts with the message that these people are trying to portray when they're out here. This show me, tell me world and this fake it till you make it is at the point to where a lot of people are starting to pull back the lens. But then at the same time, a lot of people are being fooled because the same accountability and the same information that's being thrown out there is not the same information that is applied to these people's real lives. And so it's a dog eat dog out there world to where it's more aimed at being a money making tactic versus finding real solutions out here. And there are people out there that do have a lot of great content with, content with real solutions, but we rather see the entertainment. We rather hear things that is going to be more appealing to us and more edgy and degrading. And we feel like the more raw it is, the more real it is. But not all the time is that so. Keep listening to the video because I want to talk about how how single mothers coddling sons and um, making them somewhat a possession will hinder these men to show up the way they need to show up in a relationship and also in a marriage. And I know you guys heard the ter term mama's boys and in other terms uh, surrounding that that phrase and this is not to pick on nobody this is not a negative video these things happen out here it happens out here in real life the imagery that he's portraying to the camera that don't even that that don't really align with him being able to give the right to give the advice until you get yourself together it's a show me tell me world i know you guys heard that show me then you can tell me because once i see what you have then i can believe it's works now not saying that people in certain situations even in their cars can't give 
good advice because a lot of people have been through a lot of things. But at the same time, like I said, it's a show me, tell me generation. If they don't see the evidence, they won't believe it. And you have to convince them. And right here, he's not convincing us that what he's saying is accurate only just a regurgitation of what everyone already has been saying. So let's go ahead and see what Albert and Preach has to say about this. Hey, King, can I get my life? <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> no? No? You don't want to ask a king oh, for permission no. to go out? Just a disclaimer, I'm a heterosexual male, but I know myself and I know my boys and I know how we rock and I know what would keep me would me would want to keep a woman around long term so if i was a woman in 2021 and moving forward how i would keep a man with money looks or status is so simple the first thing i would do is allow the man to leave say for instance he was like yo babe i'm gonna pick you up at five o'clock we're gonna go here at this time get ready i would let him do that because that would show me that he has the right qualities i'm looking for long term provide protect and lead the number two thing i would do is i'd be considerate so if he's hungry or if his room's dirty or his house is dirty i'd clean it and cook for him because that would show him that i'm a supportive woman which is very important long term so ron i would make him wait to like the second or the third day and when we do establish the fun I'll those are all good good ideas and good advice but at the same time once again provide protect and lead your mom is providing protecting and leading the home N nigga okay <laughs> oh, okay but can we just have a little be, be considerate it's like Bro, you're not gonna be considered as well. I don't know. I, I like. I, I, I <laughs> you know, know what I'm saying? Like. Oh man. I don't know, man. In between, just an in between, just a little. Yeah. No. A lot of you guys are feeding into your own perpetual failures in life, and then getting mad at the market and shitting on it. Women do it as well. I find it fascinating. Everyone's always blaming everybody else. Men nowadays, women nowadays. No, some of y'all just need to do some self work and figure your shit out. And it's a lot easier to say to women. And even women do this. Women get on the TV shows and be like, what's wrong with men today? Why don't they have their shit together? Because we going through some shit. We are. And guess what, ladies? You go. That's the truth. We're all going through some stuff and we're all taking it out on everyone else in the world instead of fixing ourselves. You know, fixing ourselves requires a lot of work and we sometimes fail to do that. So if we blame everybody else, it makes it more easier to do. You know, I make my channel for men and women. I try to use topics that I can elaborate more on and go into depth more so people can understand the points of each other. And a lot of times in those videos, the first thing a person wants to say, whether they watch the whole video or not, or just read the title, they'll say, you got to point this out, but not that out. Why you got to point that out, but not this out. They're always trying to find that they're, they're usually trying to find something that fits their narrative instead of trying to understand each other as men and women and also trying to understand stand ourselves uh, stand yourself to figure out if there's any problems that you have that's contributing to what's going on now i'm going to tell you one thing with the title it says alpha male dating coach lives in his mom's basement now i know y'all have heard a lot of times people talk about how single mothers letting um especially their sons live in a home they are raising the men to be beta men or they are jealous of their daughters and they're teaching them to toughen up and they're teaching them to get um, go out there and be a go-getter while they take care of their sons. And I'm not saying everybody is doing this, but it's happening a lot out there. They're showing more nurturing towards their son because there's not a man in the home and not saying that they're using their son as a companion, but they have that soft spot for the men more than they do their own daughters and that's what makes the men soft or appear soft out here in the world they're raising guys that may potentially turn and turn into pookie and ray ray they're they're raising guys that don't have a sense of uh, financial stability and don't have the means to provide because their mom has provided for them all of their lives um you have the mothers out here they're jealous of their girlfriends or their potential wives so they run the women off using their son as a possession and also um they over nurture and over coddle them and so they have emotional issues directed towards women so 
a lot of single women do play a part in this and i don't want to say all because this is not i'm not talking about all but i'm talking about the majority this is what happens i've seen a lot of women in the comment section they may say things like we're not as emotional as men we're not as emotional as men and we raise our sons we're like the father and the mother but you have to understand that by the law of nature when children look at men and they look at women a man can tell a child something they'll go ahead and sit down but if a woman tells a child something she has to keep repeating herself she has to keep on yelling to the top of her lungs and say it say it all day because when they look at us they already know the nature of a man and a woman and they have a certain feeling behind when they just see us when they witness us individually and they know that the mom is more nurturing and more caring and more sensitive than the man and the man is the leader and that he's the authoritative figure and that's why they execute his commands as the authoritative figure because this is his nature i can go more into detail with that on an, in another video because i don't want to make this long but this is just how we are and we have to tap into our element and stop trying to compete with each other and be something that we're not embrace ourselves as women embrace ourselves as men let me tell you one thing if a father was in that household there's three things that if a father was in that household, there's three things he will not allow. The, because the male's makeup is different from a woman inside and out, he is able to bring balance into the home. He is able to lead the home, to be the disciplinary in the home and bring balance to that home. Not just with the children, but even with the woman. When we become when things become too much for us, he's able to step in and provide in ways that we can't the cycle and hormonal and the cycle and hormonal imbalances and changes that goes on in a woman's body a man will never understand and this is why the man can bring balance to things that is too that will become too much for us and this is why we need to understand each other and stop listening to all this surface level advice from hurt people because we're creating a dynamic that's gonna be detrimental to our future. So with that being said, three things that a father will not allow in his home is, for one, he will not let, allow his son to lay up, play video games, chill, not have a job, you know, not have any, if, if he doesn't have a job, not have any chores or any any type of responsibility in that home that's going to be getting up cutting grass taking trash out you know or whatnot he's gonna make that he's gonna make that son get a job even if the woman says you're being too hard on him he's going to step in when it's necessary to teach that son responsibility and to get that son out on his own and i understand people sometimes have to go home People sometimes have to go home and things get hard out here. They, we're living in a world where it's made to where it's hard out here to live because prices keep going up, the rules of the government, all of these things that's taken from us and little given to us, it, it does make it hard for us. But at the same time, there are things into that, that are in place that we can utilize that's gonna help us live our lives because mom and dad ain't gonna be there forever. And that's getting a job, that's staying consistent, that's being disciplined, that's having a mindset. But if we're being coddled, our mindset is going to be weak and we're not going to be able to execute all of these things because we're going to feel like it's too much. Number two, a man's not going to allow his daughter to bring a man over there and they lay up in the home, make babies. He's not going to allow that. First of all, he's going to teach his daughter to find the best man for the job. See, men and women, we run off people differently. Of course, a man's gonna think a man. Uh, of course, a man is gonna think a guy is not good enough for his daughter. But at the same time, he knows that his daughter needs someone that's going to protect and provide. So while he be hard, while he's hard on the guy, he's still gonna let her do her thing. But at the same time, he's going to let that guy know what he expects. But see, us women don't do that. We run the girlfriend off. We run the, the wife off. We run the women off that may be good for our son, the woman that may slow him down a bit because we're too jealous and we're too much in competition, especially if she's a good woman because 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 we're afraid to lose lose the child. And I get it. This is, this is just how we are. Uh, naturally, we... 
we're afraid our ch for our children to get out there in life because we know what's out there and we don't want them to get hurt. All it takes is one second and something, one second for you to do something stupid and you might not see your child again. So I get it. But at the same time, you gotta let them live. And I know this might not be exactly what they're talking about in the video, but the title itself speaks for itself. Number three, they are not gonna let their daughters walk out the house with anything on. And this is a safety tactic. This is a protective tactic. And a lot of women don't get it. You know, of course, you know, a teenager walk outside, even if you a young, uh, in a young adult, you're still living in the home and still rules. If you don't like the rules, usually those rules are put into place to get you to go ahead and do what you need to do. Because if you don't like the rules, you have to find your own house. And now you have to have rules for your children. And all of these things are set into place to get you prepared for life, for when you're on your own. But at the same time, he's not gonna allow a woman to just walk, uh, uh, his daughter just walk out any kind of way, short skirts, breast showing, all that stuff. He's not gonna allow that. He's gonna be like, what you got on? You need to change. And of course, mom and daughter is probably going to be like, oh, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's cute or whatever. You know, it's the the man can see what other man can see. He knows what's going on out there. He knows the intentions behind a man. He knows the dangers and the thoughts behind a man when he sees a woman that is revealing certain things. In out of protection mode, this is why men speak this way. That's why a lot of men, they have girlfriends and they want them to cover up because they actually care about their girlfriends. But they might see another woman on the street that they don't know and be eyeing her down and giving her attention and compliments. To us, it looks like, well, that's not fair. You don't even, you know, drool over me after like, like that no more. You know, you don't like my pictures no more. You're giving her all the attention. That's how it looks to us. But really they're trying to protect their own. You see what I'm saying? They're trying to protect their own, but the nature of a man is, is visual temptation and stimulation. And because a man knows that, he's going to tell you, you don't need to go out there like that because you just don't know who you'll run into. Stalker, predator, rapist, killer, all of these things. So those are three things that a father will not allow in his home if he was present in the home. And that's why we got to stop fighting against stuff that these men know when they know what they talking about now. That's when they know what they talking about. This is a part of we have to stay in our lanes when it comes to being a man and a woman because that is how it's designed out here. We individually have our own strengths that can help each other. So that's why it shouldn't be a competition. And a lot of these dating coaches need to stop pinning us against one another to find a real solution and speak on truths and when it comes to a lot of us male and women dating coaches i'm not against none of them all of them started off at a good place a lot of these content that you see out here if you go to the past videos that they had they was talking good stuff there was role models and mentors to our young men and our young women and then they kind of shifted into into something that's more venomous and more poisonous to the mind because of the competition out here because of the likes the views and all of the that all the attention other people was getting for for negative antics and so there was there was things out there to teach men about security wealth health and and, and being responsible and there was also videos out there teaching women how to be feminine and tapping into your femininity and what that really looks like and now we are just turning it into something that is just all the way negative without any real solutions we are in a flawless culture and when it comes to women and how we should teach our women when it comes to our element because there's a lot of examples out there for women that's making it look like being a woman is a bad thing but it's not we have to embrace the qualities of a woman and show that example so these women can be the best women that they can be because right now they don't even want to be women femininity is looking like a bad thing being a woman is looking like a bad thing and i get it because when i was a girl i used to say i wish i was a boy because they get away with everything they can do whatever they want and get away with it that's just how we thought I was always hugging on the on the son always treating him the best always getting you to clean and wash dishes and do everything around the house they didn't have to do anything 
And while some of the boys was getting a lot of love and attention from their moms, their moms was calling their daughters fast. And this is not all situations. This is not every case. And a lot of people didn't even have homes or parents. There's a lot of different scenarios out here and I don't want to leave anything out, but you guys get the picture. And so that was the mentality that the woman had, especially when there's no man in the home to teach her the things that she needed to learn from the man and how she's supposed to see men when she go out into the world. You see what I'm saying? But these are things that we don't talk about and things that we don't understand because we're always pointing out the negative things and we're always teaching people off of hurt and personal pain that we went through in our lives and applying it to all. But we don't realize that when we apply it to all, everyone starts to behave that way and that's not something we want i hope that I, I hope i explained that to the best of my ability i hope nobody got offended i hope you know someone can learn something from it if you have anything you want to add to that please comment below and let me know what you think about it and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel i'm out